Happy birthday to you, lovely Taurus, and welcome back. If you're new, welcome in. Wishing all of the Taurus's birthdays, blessings upon blessings. Taurus, this is going to be your birthday general predictions. Today is the full moon in Scorpio. I'm doing your reading today on the 23rd. We're going to pick up the energy of Taurus season. This is your season. This is your time to shine. So I feel, Taurus, like you're basking in the sun, basking in the energies right now. Like a feeling here of, you're almost home, my loves. You're almost home. On the 29th of this reading, Venus will be exalted in Taurus. This is a coming home. There's a major boost that could be here in your finances or your love life or your business ventures. Let's see what's happening. So today, the full moon in Scorpio is at four degrees. This is the opposite of us, Taurus. So I am a Vedic Taurus. So this is going to be for Taurus from today through May 20th. Adjustments are required here. So making the necessary changes, being flexible. It's like adjusting the new beginning that you have here. So there's some changes. There's things to learn. There's some knowledge to gain here. So when it comes to the third quarter moon, okay, it feels like for your birthday season here, you're building something here. And I have void, of course, and we're going to show you the cards. There's a void here. Now, the creator works this way. Whatever's voiding out, whatever's going out today, right? It's like organically, it's going back to creator, back to source here, okay? Whatever dark ent energies are... Whatever situations here that no longer worked, okay? It's like this feeling is there's something here that's closing out. There's an intense ending here, okay? It's like releasing something here that was a feeling of a purge. Now, the solar eclipse in Aries that happened two weeks ago is took place in your seventh house. So there's things now where I feel nothing will come of a situation. Something here is ending, okay? Like I feel, there's a new beginning where there, when one door closes, keep an open mind, one door opens. So you experience some shake-up, some ending here, okay? And it could have take place with the surprise that happened with the Uranus and Jupiter conjunction or during this time, which we're still in the energy. Yeah, Cancerian, on a personal level here. This could be like Cancerian rules the Zodiac, right? The mother of the Zodiac. Fourth house themes. This could be like I feel on a personal issue. This is something here that you can resolve. So there's resolving family issues. Okay. It feels like in the face of adversity, it's like there's something here that you said, thank you. No, thank you. I'm not interested. It's like screw that kind of an energy. Okay. It's like whatever this smear campaign could have been that was going on here. Because with the Scorpio full moon here, it's a feeling where there's been things that could have been like laid up or a timeout or some kind of new cycle that's opening up for you here on an emotional level. It's like when it comes to, to, to the Cancerian energy. Now, you could be dealing with a Cancer moon, Cancer rising here, okay? But whatever is being voided out is because it's got to, the Scorpio full moon is culminating. So there's something here. It's like taking back your power. So you're going through emotional purging, emotional releasing, energy, and Capricorn. Your hard work pays off. So what it has to do with things here that have to do with, you know, the sixth house, seventh house things is what I'm picking up. But for you, the seventh house is, it could have to do with work, your health, okay? Relationships, marriages, contracts, business partnerships here. There was a sense of, there was no equality here. So it's like a feeling of now you've made some necessary changes. Your hard work is paying off Capricorn energy. It's like whatever this energy was, you climbed the mountain here by yourself. Okay. That's what I feel. It feels like whatever this was here with Capricorn and Saturn, you have to face some limitations here. You could have felt restricted in areas. Okay laid up or gone through a time out here in some situation, 12 house things. There could have been hidden expenses that popped up here. 
but it feels like whatever this is that was hidden okay a hidden side of life it's like it's time to let go there's it's like whatever this situation was in your life Taurus for you it's like yeah everything is being transmuted it's being sent back to source to God to creator here okay and it feels like spirit is rewarding you here when it comes to your career when it comes to areas with Saturn like Saturn and Capricorn is a very hard working very determined energy here it's like you had certain obligations that you've been committed to when it comes to your children your family yeah and you're very close to achieving a major goal here so like a feeling here you could see something here that you wished you hoped for your hard work pays off you're able to fix a problem like a feeling of you can't force this situation but you can fix a situation so you're fixing some kind of a problem okay could have to do with children family marriage home because on a, on a level here when it comes to do with something here that that your heart is in like your heart is in now we got the moon in capricorn and we got the moon in capricorn here these are opposites here so there's a codependency here there was some kind of an energy here that was dra draining you an energy vampire kind of an energy here okay something here that was limiting you or a feeling of limited beliefs okay about yourself or limited beliefs like a feeling where you can now free yourself from these limited um br limited ideas or limited poverty consciousness it's like you could break free from anything here that was limiting you okay because your hard work pays off here all right so i feel definitely like i feel a powerful changes you've been experiencing from the beginning of april here so the super new moon in aries okay the masculine energy to mars is like you've going through this rapid rapid energy of making a lot of changes here taurus like i feel and it feels like a goal of yours you're able to fix you're able to complete a project or complete something here there's definitely a completion here yeah so let's get um one card out from the wisdom of the order oracle i can't talk mercury moves direct on the 25th of this reading it's like you can straighten something out here and move forward more confident okay it's like avoid control like take it's like if you are butting heads with with somebody here okay when it comes to work or on a personal level you're able to finally fix something here and move forward when it comes to important relationships here yeah it's like letting go of feeling like a victim where your energy begins to mo go in motion right so emotions are energy in motion so something here is in motion it's like i'm feeling water and earth okay which tells me something here is blooming this is your card yep truth be told yeah there it is between worlds there was a decision here a new beginning okay a new cycle and this could have been a feeling when it comes to a decision you're, you're letting go of, a, of something here that you've learned okay it was like the hidden side of life like i was saying some dark area right where it was like a feeling of you know in this dark area of your life there was choices to make here there was illusions there was keeping your options open now you're making a choice here and it's like you're stepping into this light right there's a transition period here of you walking into this place where healing begins for you the stork rebirth fertility okay it could be like a feeling of an announcement of a pregnancy that you're hearing of or someone here could be pregnant around you a stork i was seeing a stork this is a flamingo this is like your whatever decision you're moving out of that that phase and you're moving more into this this area of enrichment in your life and the masks are falling down you can now be very sure when i say this you are seeing people for who they truly are now you're seeing their true colors okay these were people that were selfish it's like i heard cam on astrology whoever follows cam and his title of his video was you by you choosing like you know what's right 
okay you know what's right you know what's left you know what's evil what's good okay you know that now but by choosing to be right <clears throat> then you're in a place of constantly being triggered which is a bitterness okay where if you move into this light you can let go of that bitterness because you have the truth but you're choosing to be happy is everything so it's overall choosing to be happy the owl which some of you could have a tattoo of an owl i'm seeing the owl here and it's like there's an open window an open gate here okay and you definitely see the mask are falling down here so you could see people for who they truly are now like i was feeling there's like something here that was like dirty stinking lies okay it's like the scorpio full moon has been calling out crooks liars and thieves and exposing the deception that was taking place here okay and like the bottom card on this one is number seven the seven virtues right and this woman's in a bathtub it's to the sea this is a good time like i feel to take a spiritual bath to just breathe this is a time for releasing this is a time for feeling good this is like a time now where you can definitely get ready to release and get ready to go to distance. Yeah, your hard work is paying off. There's the finish line, Taurus, okay? It's like that Jaguar, right? It's like nothing stopping you now. Number 47, I see here. I see number seven, number 14, and number three. For some of you, like your birthday could be definitely in May on the third. For some of you, you're on the 14th. For some of you, you're the seventh, okay? For some of you, you could be definitely um, the energy here of the 18th, May 18th. And I have 47 years old here, okay? It's like whatever this is, now you can go to distance here, okay? It's like that vision that you have now, you're walking right into like a feeling here of getting ready to sail away, I'm hearing. Like you'll be sailing away into the sunshine here, okay? Yeah, you have definitely a spirit guide here. There's definitely somebody here that's watching over you. Your higher self is guiding you, okay? There's a feeling here of you getting ready here to move away from some kind of a deception. Now, and you're headed towards, like I feel, luck is on your side, Taurus. Serendipity here. Serendipity. You're very close, like I feel, to this, this lucky energy of where it begins to flow energy in motion here all right i will read the between worlds but i'm going to put these up here for you and we'll keep them here let's get the tarot for you <clears throat> yeah i'm seeing tying up any loose ends adjustments required gemini had this message of something here that you're tying up loose ends this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, so this is for Taurus. This reading won't be for all of you Taurus out there. Keep in mind, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. So let's talk about <clears throat> relationships. So this is in general when it comes to do with seventh house themes, relationships, marriage, contracts, business. There could be career, business that comes up, partnerships. And now, like I'm feeling, you're, you're in that 12th house here where there's something here that you can let go of. Something here that is keeping you feeling tied back or restricted. You're definitely moving forward. Between worlds. Show me Taurus. Show me Taurus. And it's number three. There's a revert, the renewal here, number three. It's working in your favor. Yeah, in your favor. Gemini had Venus uh, with Taurus come out as the first card. So in Gemini's video, you could have Gemini Taurus placement. It was radical acceptance of who you are. Being able to receive when it comes to self-respect, self-love. This is a feeling here of Taurus. Your first card out is Queen of Pentacles. Look at that combination. When it comes to the work that you provide, this is radical self-care, radical acceptance. Queen of Pentacles, down to earth, page of swords, and the star card. Need I say anything more here? 
you definitely, Taurus, are in this energy where you're very curious, okay? You could be doing some research at this time, checking things out, which is advised. It's like time for research here, okay? There's some kind of message or communication that could be coming at you here where you might not be expecting it. It feels like the Page of Swords can be also a child or someone younger than you. But the Aquarius energy is there's something here that you're clearly washing your hands of. And the Aquarius energy is definitely stepping into radical self-love and acceptance. Accepting who you are. Committed, very loyal, okay? This is a feeling of you're very grounded at this time. And Taurus with the star card, there's a major glow up that you're having in your life for your birthday season. This is aiming for a higher version of yourself here with Aquarius energy. It's like for some of you, Taurus, you may be very famous, very fortune for whatever you create, whatever you put out there for. It's like you're the one who's very valuable, okay? It's like, Taurus, if you could dream it, you can become it. You can reach this goal now and be noticed for the work that you give. Like I feel you are somebody who dots their I's, crosses their T's. You're very grounded. You're very practical. You're very invested for the long haul here, okay? So when it comes to partnerships and relationships, I feel that there is an area here where you've been kind of doing some checking them out, spying a little bit, you know, looking up people here, right? Curious as to what's going on here. Or are you definitely like a feeling here of you could have hope now, for this relationship or there's finding hope in a situation there is a feeling of wish fulfillment here taurus okay and three of pentacles same position here for gemini there was definitely this feeling of three of pentacles you're very busy working right now so it feels like whatever it is and let's get the energy of the past two of wands seven of cups in the near future the magician mastermind five of pentacles yeah and the Empress here. So in the past here, there was something here that you wanted to do, but I feel that you grabbed a hold of yourself. You didn't have enough information, but you wanted to take action. There was somebody here that I feel that in the past, you were confused about with the Seven of Cups. Could be Pisces, Neptune, could be Sagittarius with Jupiter. Now you haven't had Jupiter or Sagittarius in your chart. It'll be there till the end of May, and then it moves into the sign of Gemini. So you've had some time to take action toward your dreams, towards things that you were wishing for. This was also how you were projecting yourself. Because when it came to something you wanted here, you know it gave you a lot of meaningful energy around it. There was a deep purpose, a deep meaning for something here. It was very meaningful, okay? You had a choice. You had an option. There was something here that you put behind you because you had the world in your hand here, okay? So you face some kind of shadow energy or some kind of insecurity in the past here. It feels like in the near future with Mercury moving forward, you can now move forward more confident, okay? It's like five of pentacles, six of pentacles. You can now get ready to focus when it comes to your finances. If there was something here that was, you felt was unfair, right? Something that was hidden. It's like with Mercury, Mercury is exposing some kind of, a, of energy around you where it's saying you have a master mind. You have all of the necessary tools within you to make something here happen. It's like Six of Pentacles, bringing back balance. It's a minor arcana for Libra. So it tells me this was where you felt like there was no equal give and take. It left you with this feeling of feeling like a victim. So this is a feeling here of getting ready here to release this victimhood and standing up for yourself, reclaiming your power back in a situation. So with the Empress still being here at the bottom of the deck, this could be the challenge. It's like stepping into that new role of yourselves where there's a new part of you, like a new life. You have this feeling where you're being more authentic, more, more true to yourself now, okay? Where you're very capable, okay, and ready for something new in your life, right? There could be this long-term goal of yours with the Queen of Pentacles, like a feeling of you're very precise of what foundation you want to prepare for. You have a lot of hope in this new foundation. It feels like you you could be like somebody here who faced some kind of financial difficulty, but in the near future, like a feeling here of, with the magician here, using your powers and your skills, it's like you can't work with what you don't have, but you have it all. You have it within you here to make something work. 
to make the necessary adjustments when it comes to a financial goal here, okay? So let's see what the possible challenge is for Taurus. So thinking out of the box, doing your research, page of swords. Like you, we are love to be inspector gadgets, right? It's like there's some kind of news or something here behind your back that's coming in. Okay, someone wants to talk to you. Somebody that's feeling left out in the cold that wants to come in and offer you something more than an apology. This is somebody who's coming in out of the cold to give you something. It could be a gift, okay? It could be something that where they're offering some, some peace treaty, okay? Show me the challenge for Taurus. Judgment, okay? So something is not over yet, Taurus, okay? It's like there's a feeling here of refusal or refusing to hear the call, right? Because you have a calling that's going to change everything here, right? Judgment is a feeling here of Pluto. There's something here that deep in the subconscious that's hidden, Eight of Swords, that's keeping you stuck in a situation. And the King of Pentacles. There you go. King to the Queen of Pentacles and Mars and Aries. So you definitely have an authoritative figure. This could be a boss. It could be a relationship. It could definitely be somebody here that you're in a partnership with. The both of you are not seeing eye to eye, but they're definitely coming in. King to the Queen of Pentacles here, okay? So like I was feeling here, Seventh House themes, again, contracts, relationships, business, partnerships. It's like whatever was here, okay, where you felt breadcrumb in a situation, underpaid, okay? Whatever this situation was, it, it feels like with that 12th house, you're getting ready to release something here. Now, the King of Pentacles is a feeling of somebody here could have been very controlling, okay? Somebody here definitely was stuck in their head overthinking a situation. But it feels like somebody here is definitely getting a wake-up call after a period of this person missing that call. So now somebody's going through some wake-up call that you're connected to and they're seeing your worth, okay? There is hope for some situation here. There's somebody here who's having hope, somebody here that is refusing to end things with you, okay? So it feels like whatever contract this is here, okay, you haven't made the final call, you haven't made the final decision. With Mars, there could be somebody here, Mars and Aries is not opening up. They could be coming off with a hard exterior, but right underneath is the King of Swords and the Ten of Cups and the Hermit. This is someone you haven't spoken to or somebody here that you have children or a family with. It's like this person's like not, they're not in their Ten of Cups. You were somebody here who brought in some uh, the ultimate happiness, okay, when it comes to the Ten of Cups here. But somebody here could be get, going through some cabin fever, like I'm feeling Mars and Pisces, reminiscing about the good old times here. It's like they stand back for a reason. They held themselves back because, you know, it was like a feeling of they carried some emotional baggage here, right? They can be very narcissistic, this person, King of Swords, Mars and Aries, okay? There could be some battle here where they've backed up so they could have this internal, okay, energy here where they wanted to rush in, but they held themselves back, okay? So let's see what the advice is. Your advice, Taurus, yeah, Five of Swords, the Moon, Ten of Wands. When it comes to the work that you do, it's like you work very hard. You're very focused on, on the content that you create, Eight of Pentacles. You're very good at what you do. You work very hard, the Ten of Wands here. It's like whatever this is could be backbreaking, like a feeling here of, you know, it's like, it's like taking a break on and off, a feeling here of with the moon. There's something here that you're not seeing, okay? And this feeling of the moon is there's definitely some subconscious energy or some kind of fear or insecurities that are coming up at this time. And the Five of Swords and the Three of Swords and the Four of Cups. Like I was feeling here, Taurus, you don't see this coming in. Ace of Pentacles, you're blocking it out, okay? It's like somebody's words and actions that were said here. It's like with the Four of Cups, it's like, no, thank you, hell no, I don't want this. Somebody's coming in with an apology here. It's like there's somebody here that you've had some adversity with. 
some heartbreak that's here, three of swords. It's like they're feeling around, feeling mentally or emotionally defeated and drained. It's like you're walking away from a situation now, Taurus, where you're not open up to it. I feel with the Ace of Pentacles, there's a golden opportunity that's being handed to you by the Most High. And it could be like the eight plus the nine, right? It's like you're sufficient, you're good, you're working right now, you have a new project here. And with that three of swords, it's like something here with the moon. You feel somebody here is not being honest with you. It's like a feeling of seven of wands laying down healthy boundaries, Taurus, okay? It's like facing some insecurities with the full moon in Scorpio, which is Pisces or Cancerian, okay? This is mother energy, feminine energy here. So there's some wounds that are coming up to the surface now, okay? But it is a feeling here of whatever this is, there is a feeling of betrayal. There was betrayal here. And it feels like you're getting ready to walk away from something here. Now let's see what the possible outcome is. What's the possible outcome for Taurus? Four of Wands, Five of Wands, and the Fool card. And the Tower. Yep. Something here that you're getting ready to break free from with Mars and Scorpio and this four and five of ones. You have a lot of envious, jealous people around you. With Mars and Scorpio here, it's definitely going to come out. There's some kind of shakeup in a home dynamic here, okay? This five of ones is very assertive, like a feeling here of these people, okay, with the five of ones and this tower moment. It's like, let the first one throw the stick and stone. It's like sticks and stones will break my bones, but names will never hurt me. The five of wands and the five of swords, because we've seen them here. There's been conflict here in a home situation here, okay? Or over a, a home or over property here, okay? With the tower moment and the five of wands, it's like let the first one th cast the stone, throw the stone that's without sin, right? And the four of wands, you're a light worker, Taurus, okay? This tells me there's somebody here that wants to disturb your peace when it comes to a situation here. That's about to end here. Like I feel there's some kind of shake up here, some kind of feeling here where these five of wands are definitely here. People who are naysayers, backstabbers, okay? It feels like there's going to be this big wake up call, big showdown with the energy here of you getting ready to walk away from a situation here, okay? So it feels like there's a closing up or tying up of loose ends here, okay? It's like unexpected. Something here unexpected is going to happen, like I feel, in the May season here. As you approach June, it feels like you're walking away from a situation with a clean slate here. It feels like, yes, there was abandonment issues here, okay? There was definitely a feeling of withdrawing your energy, okay? But it also feels like some sudden revelation that frees you, four of swords, and definitely rest. Drink plenty of water. You'll have an opportunity here to rest, to recover. It feels like whatever this comeback home is, that, that's for you here. It no longer works for you, okay? There's a feeling here of too many people that are interfering in this situation, all right? And it could be like a feeling here of, before you go back to work, before your next move, Knight of Pentacles, right? You may need to, like I feel, take breaks, like get off that horse, Four of Swords, rest, recover, rejuvenate, okay? Eight of Cups here, because in the Queen of Cups, back to the Queen of Cups, you're able to solve a, a problem here. You're able to resolve a situation here, and it leads to Nine of Cups here. So like I feel, you go from the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups to the Queen of Cups, where you're able to have that calm, cool, and collective energy of emotions in motion. So it feels like with the Queen of Cups, once again, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, on an emotional, physical, practical level, you're in the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, water and earth here, nurturing yourself. So radical self-nurturing, radical self-care, okay? Radical appreciation on yourself here because you're ready for this quantum leap. And before you take this quantum leap, like I'm feeling, there's a need for rest and it leads to wish fulfillment. That nine of cups is there waiting for you here, okay? So let's see what the message was from this between worlds, okay?
Number three. And not page. Number three is page eight. Wow. So I'm going to read this to you, Taurus. It says the essential meaning is transitions, not being quite out of one situation and fully engaged in another. Temporary blindness, no man's land. The Oracle's message is between the worlds is where you must let go of the tendency to make assumptions. This is a time when you are unable to see what is ahead. Cultivate curiosity and trust the process of change and growth. You are done learning the lessons of recent experiences. In this place between what was and what will be is a state of making and unmaking and making again. What is essential now is to admit not knowing. There is a great freedom and power to be unleashed. A mystery that is not yours to understand weaves the, the web of life within a divine matrix of consciousness greater than your own thoughts, feelings, beliefs, desires, and decisions. The seeds that were planted in the past begin to take root, but what surfaces will probably not be what you expect. When you are between the worlds, you are invited to see within the curious eyes of a child, glimpsing a rainbow for the first time. Do so and you will not be disappointed. When it comes to relationships, Taurus, this is the time to explore the new energy between you and another. It is not a moment for certainty, but rather for discovery and curiosity. You don't yet know if this will last forever, so allow yourself to explore who you are and what is reflected back to you. This relationship is meant to educate you about yourself. What do you need? What do you like or dislike? What values are important to you? You are in a critical phase of your relationship that is not to be dismissed or hurried. When it comes to prosperity, let's do the pro protection message. Be mindful of your expectations. This is not a time for guarantees. Things will not go exactly as you plan or dictate. Let go and see what spirit has in store. What takes hold in your life will be better than you can imagine. Wow. Now, Taurus, I'm just going to leave it off on one of the messages that we'll see what comes out for Ask the Universe. So the message is from the universe. This is for Taurus as a bonus for their birthday wish. This is for Taurus for their birthday month. What is the most important message that the universe has for Taurus Collective? What does Taurus need to hear right now? You're going to be celebrating something very special soon. You'll be so full of joy and happiness, it will almost seem out of this world. How suddenly it all happens for you. Be ready for it, expect it, it's happening. I, this was your last uh, card for your last reading. So that energy is still like, for a lot of you, you haven't seen it yet, but don't give up hope just because you can't see it. This kid is gonna come in when you least expect it. Now the next message is the past is behind you now so drop the fears and doubts even though you may feel a little uncomfortable at the moment and slightly anxious over what is coming next you are being urged to bring yourself back to the present moment your recent prayers have been heard and are currently being worked on it's being adjusted it's being worked on so Taurus you can definitely take a screenshot like I'm feeling adjustments are required of you as the universe is making adjustments just for you, Taurus, just for you. Have hope, my loves, okay? Have hope and faith because your wishes are being, there's a wish being fulfilled here, Taurus. I'm gonna leave the reading there. Thank you, Taurus's happy, blessed birthday. I'll see you in the next reading.